welcome to a special edition of the Scenic View podcast. It's a special Thanksgiving episode, very special. And our esteemed digital communications specialist slash podcast producer, Sam Klein, She's has got a been, lot of hats. was very busy this week. She asked all of the board of governors and the executive committee what they are thankful for with this holiday coming up. And so I guess at the beginning, we'll just start by, I'll ask Artis, who is right here, Artis Watkins, executive director, uh, what are you thankful for? I think it is safe to say on behalf of myself and the staff here that we really are thankful to have jobs that me- feel like they mean something, where the work we do, we can see exactly how it affects people's lives. And it feels just like a job you want to get out of bed and go do in the morning. And on top of that, as you're getting ready to hear, when you hear from our leaders, we're really blessed that we work for leaders who care not just about the members they're here to represent, but the staff as well. It's a great place here at Scenic. And, you know, I'm I'm really thankful for that. Yeah, and I, re- I really am, too. When I first came to Scenic, I guess about 13 years ago, I didn't know what Scenic was. And I quickly learned that it was it really is a very tight knit community. And I appreciate that we are working for something that actually means something. And it's yeah. a really great place to work, great people to, to know, and I'm very thankful for that as well. Fighting for the good guys. Yeah. How about you, Sam? What are you thankful for? I think this year I'm really thankful for my family as well as the community that I've surrounded myself with. I've had a lot of blessings this year, gotten a lot of different opportunities, whether it be traveling or going to different concerts that all of my friends have also gone to. It's just been absolutely- Taylor Swift. You're thankful for Taylor Swift. I'm always ta- thankful did, for Taylor Swift. Did you make it to a Taylor Swift concert? Unfortunately, I did not. Oh. I tried every opportunity possible. This weekend will be her last three oh, shows wow. of the year. Okay, so we know what your New Year's resolution will be. <sighs> Make it to a Taylor Swift concert. (laughs) Well, we got a surprise for you. (laughs) Don't get that excited. (laughs) Well, what did you learn from sitting through, what, 50-some interviews here? Yeah, about, it seems like everyone is very grateful for not only their health, but the community they sat around themselves with as well. Thankful for their scenic families. We've had a lot of members from the West who have talked and explained what they are thankful for. And it sounds like they're really coming together as a big community out there and just working really hard together to they get are, everything. They are so tight knit. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I think that's true of North Carolina mm-hmm. in general. I mean, I think the communities, when something happens in the East, when something happens around here, people really do come together. But listening to our board members today talk about the things their districts have done uh-huh. in general, not just having to do with Hurricane Helene relief, mm-hmm. but it was astounding. There is so much, and it it hit me, That should be expected. Like, people who go into public service for a career are generally pretty community-minded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised that a lot of people probably voiced thankfulness for their their community. Mm -hmm. And I think our board is a pretty good cross-section of the whole state. I mean, we have people from all over the state, from the mountains to the coast, all races, all political beliefs, socioeconomic levels. You name it, we got it. Yeah. And even those who weren't affected, they were thankful that they were able to help those who were affected and be able mm-hmm. to donate and help that community out there. Well, I'm thankful for you, Sam. Thanks for doing this today. That yeah, was a lot of work. And yeah. thank you for doing it. It really was. That's a that's a extensive list of names you have in front of you there. Yes. So. Every <laughs> single one that's highlighted was completed. Well, let's get to it. Enjoy Sam's interviews with the Scenic Board and Executive Committee and have a great Thanksgiving. First. President Kirk Montgomery is currently recovering from surgery, and he was unable to record with us, but he did send along this statement to share with us what he is thankful for this year. He stated, I want to take a moment to thank God for allowing me to see another year of life, for giving me the opportunity to serve as the president of this great organization and to be a better leader. We want to wish him a full recovery and are thankful for his leadership. Next, we have Scenic's first vice president, Wendell Powell, who is here to tell us what he is thankful for this year. Oh, I'm glad to be here. I'm thankful for just having abundance, abundance of family and friends, abundance of resources and to be able to, you know, just enjoy my kids and enjoy and just enjoy life. Just looking forward to time off, just spending time with the family and and reflecting on how the years went, things to that I've accomplished things that we still need to accomplish and 
just how I'm going to move forward going into this this new year of 2025. But I'm definitely thankful for the ability just to be able to have the resources to take care of my family. Awesome. Next, we have the Piedmont Region Representative and the District 20 Chair, Cliff Brown. The things I'm thankful for right now are being able to help the people that I help. I serve a lot of people, and to see the effect you have on people's lives when you can reach out and touch someone to help improve their life, whether it's state employees, retirees, or the homeless I help, or any of the people out here that are in need that I work with on a daily basis. Seeing change in people, seeing them want to help themselves is what I'm really thankful for. Thankful for the family that I have, not only the family that I have at home, but my scenic family that I've been with for 40 years. And to see people coming and making a difference in others' lives and the opportunity we have to better people's lives. That's what it's all about, is to give back, to see things better than you found them, and to leave them in a positive atmosphere where they can grow and become stronger and supportive of their selves. Thank you so much. Next, we have the District 5 Chair, Willard Job. Yeah, I guess what I'm thankful for is got all my family, everybody's safe, and had a lot of damage and stuff on the farm, my farm equipment and things like that. But that's all replaceable. Road, we're getting it back. The bridges, we've got some repair work to do on them. But I'm just thankful that everybody's safe and all the help that has come from all over. You just see people from Virginia's, Florida's, Texas. Uh, they they just come from everywhere. I, I can't name them all, but it's been just great to see all of the uh, help that's come. But it's it's getting better. We, we're getting there. It, it's not going to be like it was, of course, not in my lifetime, but we'll, uh, we'll get back and you just got to keep going on. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for yeah. talking to us. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. Next, we have Marie Tate, and she is our awards chairwoman. What are you thankful for this year? This year, really, really gratefully thankful for being a breast cancer survivor. It was unexpected. And thank God that all is well. So I am so, so, so thankful. Thank you so much. Next, we have Miss Linda Colbert, who is the District 13 chairwoman, and she is going to share with us what she is thankful for. I'm thankful for life, health, strength, for my family, friends, and scenic. And I wish each and every one of you have a th- happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas in advance. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes. Next, we have our District 42 Chairwoman, Ms. Shirley Bell. I am truly thankful for being allowed to live to the age that I am, to be as in good of health as I am, continue serving my community. Thank you. Next, we have our District 45 Chairman, John Williams. I am truly thankful for the personnel that we have at Central Prison. They work through COVID. And we had bigger problems after COVID with personnel, and they survived it, and they're striving. And they're also keeping our citizens safe here in the state of North Carolina. So I'm truly thankful for those personnel at Central Prison and for the undying, relentless work that they do. All right. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Next, we have our Eastern Regional Representative and District 67 Chairwoman, Ms. Patricia Moore. What are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for my family and friends and everybody in Scenic and our District 67. And our prayers are with the western part of the state. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have District 68 Chairwoman, Ms. Rita Woods. Ms. Rita, what are you thankful for this year? I am thankful for my family my scenic family, my church family. And most of all, I'm thankful that we as a district is helping out the people out west because I know it's a lot of devastation out there and we need everyone to help in that endurance. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have Willie Bailey, who is the district chair for District 16. Willie, what are you thankful for this year? Well, I'm thankful for a reasonable portion of health and strength and thankful for the way our fellow scenic members are supporting those out west. 
they pulled together in ways that we could never imagine. I'm just thankful that God had allowed some of these people to help others in, in such a way that we could watch over those that are less fortunate than we are. Next, we have our District 17 chairwoman, Ms. Doris Day. Doris, what are you thankful for this year? I am so thankful and grateful for my husband, my family, my church family and friends, my staff, and my job with NCDAC. God overall has just been good to me. Great health. And I will not complain of those out there to know that song. And I'm so, so, so very grateful and looking forward to spending time with my family and friends this holiday. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Next, we have Alicia Warren, who is the Audit Committee Chair. Alicia, what are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for family, not just my personal close-knit family, but my, my scenic family, you know, my work family. Just being able to have a family circle in general, that's really what I'm thankful for. Well, it's definitely nice to have such a strong sense of community around the holidays, and yes. we're very grateful that you were able to share that with us. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Miss Latina Shelley, who is the District 64 Vice Chair. Latina, what are you thankful for? So many different things. Definitely my family, my job, my relationship with God. But one thing that really sticks out is I'm really grateful for being in my right mind. Challenges come. There's crazy things going on all around us. And I'm just grateful to have peace of mind and be in my right mind to think on my own. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have the District 66 Chairwoman, Miss Regina Jackson. What are you thankful for this year? Thankful for life, health, strength, my family, and my extended family, my senior family, who's always there, supportive in the good and the bad. And I'm just thankful for that. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next, we have our District 62 Chairwoman, Miss Laura Overstreet. What are you thankful for this year? I am most thankful for the health that I have been given. And I'm also thankful for the fact that I was able to spend the majority of, of my life in state government. And I appreciate that opportunity. Next, we have the District 21 Chairwoman, Miss Virginia Lindsay. What are you thankful for this year? This year for Thanksgiving, I am truly grateful for my health. You know, I've been through an ordeal, but God is still in the blessing business. I'm thankful for the growth of District 21. The people have really started coming out and getting involved and becoming active. I am thankful for the scenic family. I'm thankful each and every day that anyone is able to wake up and wash their own face. I am truly thankful. All right. Thank you so much for sharing. So Next, we have Tracy Webb, who is our Emerging Leaders Chair, and she is also a member of District 42. Tracy, what are you thankful for this year? Thank you, Sam. Sam, where do I start? I am just so grateful for life in general. Last year, I had some challenges. I was diagnosed with a, with an illness, and I have overcome that illness. And I'm still healing today. So that was a major, major diagnosis I had last year in 2023. And I had to go through different types of processes to get where I am now. So I am so grateful, so grateful. God has given me a second life. God has given me a second life, Sam. So I take my special gift of life so seriously today. Because if it wasn't for God, I would not be here today. I am grateful for all the basic things in life, like the love, family love, love in general, happiness, my health, my peace, my joy, just my family, seen it family. I am just so grateful. My life has a protection around it, Sam. That's what I say all the time. My life has a protection from all the harm surrounding it. So that makes me grateful every day. I believe in God, and I thank God every day for my abundant blessings. So, yes, every day I am grateful to be here. All right. Thank you so much. And I know we here at Scenic are very grateful to have you as such a passionate Emerging Leaders Chair. And we are grateful that you are healing and you are getting healthy no matter what challenges you faced. Thank you, Sam. Thanks. We have Timothy Morgan, and he is the District 10 Chairman. What are you thankful for this year? I am thankful for my health, my life, 
and the strength. I'm also thankful for my family and my friends. All right. Thank you so much. Next, we have Ms. Sonia Akbar, and she is the District 6 Chairwoman. Sonia, what are you thankful for this year? Today, I am thankful for my family. I thank God for waking me up, first and foremost. I am, I think I'm just thankful for every single day. I'm thankful that the people, my family, people knew, that I knew personally were still alive after the storm. And we had one of our family members to lose their house. But we're thankful because when that house fell, that tree fell on the house. His youngest son was in the bed and he got, got hit with some branches and little scratches. But we thank God that he's, he's okay. And so I think with with that, even being in the darkness, not being able to use my phone. I am thankful that we made it through. And it's always very nice whenever there's such a horrible devastation, knowing that your family and everyone that you love is still safe. It's family and friends. The community came together very well in that, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that we're semi getting back. We have like several shopping, whole shopping areas is wiped out and that it's heartbreaking to, to see that. And it was heartbreaking to, you know, come downtown and see all the standing water and you're like, and you can go swimming in it. So yeah, I'm thankful. And I don't think we had any casualties in Morganton, so I'm definitely thankful for that. That is a very good thing to be thankful for, and I thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you. Next up, we have A.D. Hall, and he is the chair for District 11. What are you thankful for this year? I truly thank God for my family, slash scenic family, and I thank God that he, I have a roof over my head that I will be able to just come in Thanksgiving that I can be able to feed my family slash other family to give them food. Also, I just thank God for what he have done for me down through the years and how that he had took care of all of us, or even our senior family, even the one that's uh, out west that's in the storm that nevertheless, some of them lost their life, but we pray to God that we can be able to, they will be able to recover, that we can be able to send them uh, supplies up there to the mountain, that whatever they can be able to have a nice Thanksgiving also. And what they can mainly, most important, that we pray that they will have a, a shelter over their head, a roof over their head where they can live in and have some place to stay. Thank you so much for sharing. You are. Thank you. Next, we have District 44 Chairman, Mr. James Langston. What are you thankful for this year? Most importantly, I'm thankful for my family, my wife, my children. They're all in good health. They all have good jobs. And I'm, a proud, I'm proud of, you know, what they have accomplished in life this far. Thank you so much. Never. Next, we have our District 61 Chairwoman, Ms. Cindy Hester. What are you thankful for this year? This year, I'm thankful for my family. And I'm thankful especially for my very best friend that almost died back in July from salmonella poisoning. Uh, she was knocking on death door. But today, thankfully, she is better. And I help her every day. And I'm thankful that she's still here with me because she is a sister I never had. And I am thankful for my friends and my dog. And I'm especially thankful for the things that Scenic has done for the people out West. It means a lot that the family, the Scenic family, has come together for those people out there. It means a lot. That's amazing. And we are also very thankful that your friend was able to have a great recovery from such yes. a horrific incident. Thank you so much. Next, we have our District 26 chairman, Mr. Antoine Burton. What are you thankful for this year? Well, this year, I'm just thankful for life itself. You know, in the recent months, you know, we've had a lot of loss, a lot of devastation. I am just thankful that the Lord has allowed me to still be here uh, and to utilize the time that I have to just be of service to anyone that I can and to be a member of this great association. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next, we have our District 43 Chairwoman, Miss Brenda Johnson. What are you thankful for this year? First of all, I'm thankful for the good Lord above and all the blessings that he has bestowed upon me and my family 
and our scenic family. I am thankful for my scenic family for supporting me and others and all the blessings that Scenic has sent up to the western part of the state to assist them. I'm just thankful that I'm in good health, my family's in good health, and just thankful for the good Lord above. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have our District 46 chairwoman, Ms. Yvette Franklin. What are you thankful for this year? Thankful for many things, my family, my church family, and just being able to wake up each and every day with breath in my body. And I'm thankful for my scenic family as well. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have our District 63 chairwoman, Ms. Shilda Owens. What are you thankful for this year? First of all, I'm thankful for my family and my one and only granddaughter. <laughs> This four rotten. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for the Lord for just letting me live to see 69. And I'm thankful for my friends, my dear friends that I've met in the last years at my job as being a correction officer at Bertie Correctional. I met some good people and I enjoyed being around them. I'm also retired and went back part time. Okay. And I'm thankful for that too, this job, part time job. We are very thankful that you're willing to still continue working and helping out in those facilities because we know that there's a they, critical vacancy rate yes, and it it's is. amazing it's that you're still working for them. Thank you so much for that. And thank you. Next, we have our District 28 Chairman, Mr. DeBoris Peterkin. What are you thankful for this year? Today, I'm thankful for God allowing me to see another year, allow me to be a part of this great organization. And for those that are not part, it'd be a good time for you to join and just help us continue to do great things for the state of North Carolina and employees. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next, we have the District 57 chairman, Mr. Melvin Chapman. What are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for all my uh, family and friends. I'm thankful that we've had a good year in uh, District 57, and I'm very thankful that I got to retire. That's amazing. Yes, it is. That's always something to be thankful for. <laughs> yes. Thank you so All much. Right, thank you. Next, we have Miss Tanya Jennings, and she is the District 69 chairwoman. What are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for my family and also my work family that I have. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have Miss Kathy Merritt, and she is the DHHS study chair, as well as the District 59 chair. I am most thankful for my scenic family and when disasters happen or bad things happen, we come together and we are truly a family. Thank you so much. Next, we have District 56 Chairwoman, Ms. Sheila Ely. What are you thankful for this year? Good afternoon. I am so grateful just to be here. I've had some health challenges and things are looking very positive, so I am so grateful and thankful to God for sparing me and healing me and also thankful to be able to help others. We were able to donate to the West and our prayers are still with them. Pray for strength and comfort and just that their needs be met, whatever they may need. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Next, we have our retiree council chairman and District 9 chair. That is Jamie Robinson. What are you grateful for this year? Well, I woke up today, and I'm grateful for that, but my family and my grandkids. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Next, we have the District 18 Secretary, Miss Alicia Brown. What are you thankful for this year? Well, I'm thankful for the 2024 year. District 18 has done a, a lot of great things. We helped our Eastern brothers and sisters during the disaster. We reached out. We had several families that had losses, so we reached out to them. We lost a member, our Adji Phillips. We reached out to the family and showed support to the family. We've just tried to work within the community. We're just thankful that we're able to, we're in a position that we can offer assistance 
to those that are in need. Now, me personally, I'm grateful for my scenic family. I'm grateful for this organization. Getting to to know the ins and outs and how the State Employees Association actually works. You know, how it really helps us, how as a state employee that it really fights for our benefits and for our rights and, you know, opens pathways for us and looks out for us for the things that we don't know we need to be looked out for. I'm thankful for the network of people that I've met. I've been a member since I've been with the state, but I've been just recently been active with the scenic. So it's really new to me. And it's like a child with a piece of candy. You give it to me and I'm just feeling, oh my God, oh my, oh, <laughs> this is the best thing since China, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm just grateful for all the camaraderie, all the people that I've met. Thankful for the scenic convention that we just come out of and, you know, our leadership here, how we're there moving. You know, it's a struggle. We've all gone through a struggle, but, you know, we're better together. And yeah. Scenic is thankful to have such a dedicated state employee and member such as yourself. Thank yes. you. Looking forward to greater things. Always looking onward and upward. I'm a piece of the puzzle. (laughs) You are a piece of the puzzle. (laughs) Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have the scenic treasurer, Miss Stacy Crabtree. What are you thankful for this year? So this year, I'm thankful for the health of my family, the safety of my family also traveling, and thankful for my scenic family, everyone coming together and definitely helping those out in the West coming together as a true family should be during these times of need. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have the District 38 Chairwoman, Ms. Tammy Tompkins. What are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for the wonderful friends my son and I have. We have no more immediate family. So we have these friends, and now we spend the holidays together. And it's just so nice to have someone and be able to celebrate the holiday and feel the spirit. And it's just an awesome feeling. It's always amazing to be surrounded by such a nice community. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. And it's super good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have the District 18 chairman, Mr. Dewey Brower. What are you thankful for this year? Well, this year, has been, it's been a wonderful year, a gorgeous year. Thank the Lord for keeping me here for another year because a lot of people have come and gone and a lot of things that's happened this year. And we just can't stop praying because the God is going to be with us all the way around. But keep in our prayers and remember the ones that's going through stuff and people that have lost this year, family members. And some people just don't know where to turn to. But without God, it, it won't be well because you be with someone. And I'm a, a prime example. I have been around people and they didn't know what to do. They'll talk to me and I'll give them an, an inspiring word. And sometimes they ask me to pray and they call me a preacher, which I'm not a preacher. But I always try to be ready when the time comes when t- somebody come around and talk to them because I, I love to talk, and I want to just say I want to wish each and every one a happy Thanksgiving and a fantastic Christmas, but just don't forget the ones that less for than we are because we've got a lot of people out there that's less for than we are. Just put key God first. Everything happened for a reason, and it will. He, he come when he get ready. He's a long-time God. I want to wish each and every one a happy Thanksgiving and a, a fantastic Christmas. Thank you so much. Next, we have District 25 Chairman Mr. James Holman. What are you thankful for this year? Well, this year I am thankful that God has blessed me to stay in this world for another year. I'm thankful for my family. It seems like all are healthy. I'm very proud of my all my four daughters. And the biggest thing I'm thankful for right now is the work that Scenic is doing to take care of state employees. I thank God I joined this group. I met a lot of wonderful people and We're doing the best we can do to help the people out West. That's it. And I wish everybody a happy holiday. Thank you so much. Next, we have our Connections Committee Chair, B.K. Garrett, and he is also a District 38 member. Yes, ma'am. So what are you thankful for this year? For the opportunity to go out West after the hurricane to help the people in need. I was very appreciative and consider myself blessed that I was not affected but this, the, the positive attitudes of all the people out west during the during hurricane and after relief and all the people that went out there to help them. It was really nice to see. And it's always great to hear from people who have gotten the opportunity to go out and help. There it's right worse now. than the news portray. Mm-hmm. Much worse. But the amount of people are so resilient. It was, yeah. it was a blessing. They're very proud to live up there and they're very proud of the area they're from. And it's very nice to see how hard they've come together yes. and worked and, together. Too. And it was really nice to see 
everybody and all the resources that were concentrated in the area. I got a chance to go to about 10 counties and it was just, it's just nice to be people are very positive and productive and optimistic, even though they went through this horrific tragedy. Hey, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Next, we have Nicole Hunter, and she is the Scholarship Foundation Chair. She is also a member of District 43. What are you thankful for this year? As a state employee in a time where they're talking about the vacancy rate, I am very thankful that now I have a full staff. I'm only one position short at DMV. That this year that we've already had one of our many holiday events, and I was able to feed every member of my staff for $8 a person. I did a partnership with somebody so that we could break bread and show appreciation to our employees for showing up because we're working long hours to meet the, you know, service of state employees or the citizens of North Carolina. I mean, we're impacted by the hurricane because my portion of DMV is the one that's getting the credentials out to the people from the West. So we're working long hours to ensure sure these credentials are handled properly and get to the citizens of North Carolina. So I got people who are volunteering, who are stepping up so we can better meet the needs or better service the citizens of North Carolina. So I'm thankful for the opportunity, the staff, and just everything working out. So I give God all the glory. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have Miss Emily Jones, the Scenic Second Vice President. What are you feeling grateful for this year? Well, this year I'm feeling grateful for life, health, and strength, Mm -hmm. being able to retire at a young enough age that I can serve the citizens of North Carolina as well as scenic members in the role as second vice president. But most of all, I'm thankful for my family, for my faithful friends, and for being able to give back to the community the way that scenic always does. Perfect. Next, we have immediate past president, Ms. Martha Fowler. What are you thankful for this year? Well, thank you, Samantha. Very thankful this year that I have a family. I'm thankful that not only have my personal family, but my scenic family. That's a family that has been a part of my life for the last 40 plus years. And I'm so thankful that we are able to see those individuals grow and prosper. But I'm thankful, too, that the hurricane that we got, it affected a portion of our state. It didn't affect the entire state. But to those who lost their homes, who lost their family members, we're so disheartened about that. But we're so thankful that for those that of us that remain healthy and wealthy and wise, we, we're just so thankful that they've been able to secure their blessings Thank you for their family. Thank you for having a dinner, a table to go to where some individuals don't have that. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. Our next member we have is Junior Holen, and he is the incoming impact chair. Hello. How y'all doing today? I am very thankful for the fact that Scenic is here to represent state employees and that the impact is in the legislature to be able to be the voice of state employees. And I appreciate them allowing me to be the incoming chair. Awesome. Thank you so much. Next, we have the North Central Region Representative, Kelly Russell, and she is also our District 41 chair. Kelly, what are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for many things in my life. Thankful for my my family and my friends. Thankful for my husband of 32 years, my my two boys, my job that I love, I'm thankful for my scenic family, and I'm thankful for my work family. There's just so many things to be thankful for. Thankful for life itself. Thank you so much. Next, we have the Secretary to the President, Ms. Betty Gautier. Then we also have both of our parliamentarians, Ms. Kim Martin and Ms. Joyce Shaw. I would like to say that I am most thankful for my family. And my family is very extensive. It's my immediate family, my extended family, my church family, my scenic family, my firefighters family that has really come around and helped me through this year. It's been a tough year, but I have to say I've been blessed. And I look forward to a new year. And I'm so thankful for all the love and support that I've had this year. I am so thankful for my family as well. Most of mine are family of choice because my biological family is all in Georgia. So with being in North Carolina, my friends are my family. 
So I have my scenic family and my work family and, and all that, my church family. And I'm very thankful for my little puppy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I am just beyond thankful for the challenges that I've experienced this past year and knowing that you have someone in your corner constantly, someone who's pushing you to not give up. And that has been my immediate family. That has been my scenic family. That's been, you know, just the core group of people who just without question are always there for you. And I am just beyond, beyond thankful for all of them. Thank you all so much. So next we have Mark Dearman, who is the District 39 chair, as well as the South Central Regional Representative. I am very thankful to live in a democracy in America and in the state of North Carolina, and I'm very hopeful I can say the same thing next year. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Now we have Cliff Johnson with us. He is the District 2 chairman, as well as the Western Regional Representative, and he is going to tell us what he's thankful for this year. Well, what I'm most thankful for is the generosity of the citizens of North Carolina and the scenic members in the eastern part of the state for sending the uh, the very needed relief goods to the western part of the state because we're still devastated. The area is still the, the recovery is going to be re- extremely long. So that's the most what I'm most thankful for this year is the help coming for the western part of the state. Thank you. Thank you. 